Hello everybody, how are you all doing? My name is Rafael. Welcome to today's video. Title update 16.3 came out today with some very interesting patch notes. Apparently the invisibility glitch in the dark zone has been fixed. The invincible build with the foundry bulwark, which pretty much guarantee you will never die, has also been fixed. However, what's really sad is that they came out and said that Pickers Holster cannot be reworked to have a red core attribute on it, uh, as well as a blue one and a yellow one. Uh, for those of you who don't know the full story of Picaro's Holster, this item was introduced with Season 10, and the, in the PTS for Season 10, we gave, a lot of people gave their feedback on the item, and we said that we would like to see the item come with a red core attribute, right? So we would have 30% weapon damage from just one item. That would make a meta, that would make Picaro's Holster a meta changer, right? Now, they said that they agreed and, and they would give it to us, right? At some point, even, I think it was a uh, title update 16.1, uh, they said back then that they don't have enough time to get the fix, to get the item updated for title update 16.0, which would pretty much bring, introduce season 10 to the game, but they would work on it and they would bring that Picker's Horser with two red Coradibus pretty much on it, on the next update, 16.1. Uh, 16 At some point, I think, it was uh, in, in title update 16.1, in the patch notes, I think it said that the item that Pickers also now comes with a red core attribute, or that you can recalibrate it, or I think if it was in the patch notes, it was on the Trillo board. For those of you who don't know, the Trillo board is pretty much where they have all the... Uh, work in progress issues, they have all the issues that they have fixed, there is pretty much, it is a huge dashboard with everything that goes on about the game. And over there it said that the item has been reworked to be as it should be. But even then, in Tile Update 16.1, when we jump into our game, we, th we saw, we realized that, you know what, this is not possible, the patch notes are not correct. And then the developers came out and said, uh, there has been some issues, it's going to be delayed, we will get it next time, blah, blah, blah. Here we are, two months later, pretty much, and we still haven't gotten it. And today they came out with this. Our intention for the item was to allow for the core attribute to be re-rolled to a red one instead of the blue it comes with. As the item technically already has a red core, but placed under attributes, the game will not allow to re-roll to red. Changing this behavior would mean we have to recode the entire behavior of all items in the game and risk introducing issues in that process. As it would require a complete rebuild of attributes on all items in the game, we had to take the decision to leave Piccolo's Holster as it is now. So, let me start off by saying that I'm completely fine with the explanation that they gave. I think it makes a lot of sense to not want to risk the entire playability of the game just for one single extra core attribute. It makes sense and I'm happy that they're not risking it. What I'm not happy about and what I really do not understand is, because from my understanding what went on here was somebody came out and said, we're gonna give you a red core attribute on Picker's Holster. And that somebody didn't check with the engineers who know the code of the game, who code everything to see if that's actually possible. And then, because that somebody had come out publicly and said, we're gonna give this to you, then the engineers had to find a way to actually make that change work. And the delays that were happening again, 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 from one patch to another, were because the engineers still haven't figured out a way to make this work. So these two months, they were trying out different things, in my opinion, they were testing out everything, and they reached to the conclusion that, we know, you know what, we cannot do this without taking a huge risk breaking everything. So my question is, why didn't they check with the engineers in the first place? Because if they had checked with the engineers and they told them, look, we're gonna check and see if that could happen and then we're gonna let you know, the community wouldn't have waited two months for this. People wouldn't be pissed right now and they would have avoided a lot of, you know, I don't know how to explain, but they would have saved face, if that's the right expression. Like, they, they wouldn't look like idiots, because right now that's what they're looking like. And I'm not, I'm not talking about 
the, the people who code the game. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about who handle, I'm talking about the people who handle social media, who handle patch notes. The change went live on a fucking patch note at some point. I think it was update 16.1 where the patch note said that the change is actually live and now you can recalibrate your Picaros holster to a red core attribute. There is a huge disconnect between the people who type shit and people who actually change shit in code. And uh, as I've said in the past, I, I, I'm trying to be really, really chill with this, but it's getting to a point where this is embarrassing. You can't have engineers, people who code the game, tell you we're testing for this or we cannot get it done yet or whatever. And then you coming on and say, we got it fixed in the patch notes. And then you come out again and say, yeah, it wasn't in the patch. It's going to be in the next one or we're still working on it or, or whatever. And have the players wait for two months just to come out eventually and say, look, we're not going to do it at all. Like, for fuck's sake, you shouldn't have said it in the first place. Just before they come out and say something publicly, before they come out and say, look, we're going to give you this change. Look, we're going to give you this new item. Look, we're going to do this to the game. Make sure you can actually do it. Like, I don't think that that's so, you know, crazy to ask for. So, it's just stupid, man. Because I, I try to defend the game a lot. Uh, when all these people are talking about how the game is dead, the game sucks, blah, blah, blah. I actually try to defend the game because I know that the game is not at the best state, obviously. However, it, it, it's much better now that we're getting some content and, and we have new missions and we have new seasons and we have new items to play with than, when it than what it was eight months ago when there was nobody behind the game and we had no content, right? And I understand that the developers have a hard work. I don't know shit about how ga how coding or how gaming programming works and, and all that kind of things. However, I think that, but at this point, I think that what I'm asking for is common sense. Like, don't promise something that you're not sure you can deliver. So yeah, uh, I know that it sucks, obviously. The two months sucks. Uh, the, the fact that we're not going to get it sucks, but... We cannot do anything about it. So, yeah, uh, let me know down below in the comment section, guys, your thoughts uh, about this, your opinion on the subject. Thank you very much for watching the video. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.